everyone, my name is Maddie, you become Maser Lee, and let me just get it out of the way. There has never been a better time to clean your room, or living room, or kitchen, or gym, or washroom, or anything. I'm currently quarantined, I'm guessing you also are, or maybe you're in some form of self-isolation. While spending so much time at home, if you're like me, you're maybe running out of things to do, why not take that time to finally clean and organize? Welcome to the Maserly family, where we share stories, advice, and new ideas about everything from periods to sexuality. Last week, I documented what happened with my body when I went off the pill, and also a brief story about the pill and how we came to the place we are today. You may watch that there. I also occasionally clean my room. I've made upwards of 10 videos showing you guys my ways. However, these are really different times. Some of you may not be able to leave your house because of self-isolation or quarantine. Others may want to restrict your shopping outside of your house anyway. And as a reason of this, I'm going to show you guys how to organize and clean your entire house or apartment or just room by not having to leave your house to get anything. If you're currently one of those people that are quarantined or self-isolating, then please give this video a thumbs up so I know how many are actually in the same position as I am. Or if you just generally enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and let's see how many people actually like this video. Give me a comment down below telling me if you're bored during these times and I will try to reply to as many of you as possible with ideas of what to do and it's something for me to do at least anyway. And yeah, let's get on with the video. Welcome to me cleaning my room. The first thing I recommend you guys doing is cleaning the biggest thing in your room, in your kitchen, in your living room first. It's gonna make it look like you've made a lot of progress, even though you may not, because just tackling the smaller surfaces first or the insides of your drawers is not gonna make a huge difference to the eye. Because my bed is the biggest item in my room, I'm gonna make that baby first. Even though I'm a huge fan of organizing and cleaning and I do it in my free time when I want to have some peace in my mind, I like to organize stuff. It can be a bit boring and that's why I love listening to music whilst cleaning because it just makes everything more fun. So highly, highly recommend when you start cleaning, put on music and just jam out and you'll lose track of time. Or even a podcast, you know, if you can actually follow those whilst cleaning. why I highly highly recommend you guys cleaning your bed first is because you can use this as a surface for everything you're gonna put out of your closet or your drawers or anything else later. I've now searched high and low in my house to find stuff that we're not using that could be used for organization and cleaning and also decor purposes um, because these are nice stuff or we're gonna make some nice stuff. So this is what I found. Let's take it to use. So when cleaning my drawers, the first thing I'll do is remove everything from the surface and wipe everything down. Then I'll start putting everything I want back on the drawer surface and the other belongings that I have, just other places where they belong. I had this old pencil holder, but it's definitely filling up. There's not room for any more pencils or markers or anything. Um, however, I found this pretty thing in my basement. All right, let's do a DIY pen organizer. I found these wooden items in my basement. Just see if you can find anything similar you can use that fits inside your vase or container of choice and use it as a separator for your different pens and markers. I went ahead and glued the separators together and painted it white so it would match my vase. Then I glued that to the bottom of my vase and voila! Also, if you can't find any items to use for separating your pens and markers, using a vase or similar is just fine too. Time to put everything back into place. And look how nice the pen organizer turned out. It's such a great use of something that hadn't been used in a really long time. Now let's actually tackle the drawers. This drawer is a mess. So here again, I'm removing everything, then wiping the drawer down and cleaning it off, throwing away any items that are not used, expired or rubbish, and then putting everything back into place. To make drawers look more organized, I always recommend using separators, drawer dividers, or boxes. But guess what? I'm using my old fridge's separators and it works perfectly. So be creative and see if you can find anything that fits in your drawers too. You can also make your own drawer organizer using some cardboard, perhaps from something you've bought in the past. I'm using the packaging of a package of oat milk. 
Crazy, right? Always be on the lookout for nice packaging because it can double up as an organizer for your drawers anywhere in your house. I will use this organizer for my craft tools. How cute. I am crazy. Watch you bend that back for me. We won't stop. Got your feet both locked. You get to flap with me. I can take you down for a ride. Lastly, some final touches to organize the rest of my drawer, and that's it. Another drawer in desperate need of organization. Challenge accepted. I found the soda container in my basement and guess what? It fits perfectly in my drawer and I'm gonna use it to organize my papers and cardstock. Organizers keep your drawers looking clean and it makes it much more appealing to the eye and you can make them out of pretty much everything. So get creative. For my markers, I had this gold cup that I never really used, so why not use it as a decor piece and store my markers in it? And yeah, that's it for the drawers. For smaller miscellaneous items like tapes or lip balms or similar, try using glasses or cups you don't drink from or even small vases you don't really use anymore. And either give them a new look by painting them or put decorative duct tape on, like I did with this one. Are you displaying any products? Maybe makeup products, maybe body lotions or soaps or anything similar. Make it nicer where they stand for the products to be on, like one of those you see in the stores. By cutting out polystyrene, I found this in the rubbish of my house next to a box of a wind blower something. Honestly, I don't really know what it was. It was confusing. Cover that polystyrene then with some cardstock paper and seal the edges with tape or glue. And that's it. Make this as tall or as thin as you want for your products and enjoy displaying all your beautiful things. So I am crazy. Watch you bend that back for me. We won't stop. Got your feet both locked. You get to flap with me. Next up, let's tackle the dresser surface. I had a lot of rubbish and clothes and a lot of stuff on there. So as always, I will remove all of it and wipe the surface down and just clean it all. So this area, hmm, where should I begin? Um, it's gone through a lot of changes. The placement of the books, first of all, was just off. I couldn't really see what was there and also it was just too colorful. Who'd guess that I'd ever say that? Therefore, I decided to move them all to the top of my shelves and organize them by color. If you have any books laying around in your room making a mess, definitely try this out. Organizing books by color is a great way to make them look much more clean and neat and just appealing to the eye. The next step to fixing this area was putting back my pictures and decor pieces. If you're decorating an area that you want to look clean, here's a quick tip. Try using as few colors as possible. Pretty much everything I put on my dresser surface was white, black, green, or pink. If you have stuff in other colors, hide them away in boxes or organizers in your main colors like I did with this white and black box. I know it, you know it, we make it. Jaywalking, crosswalking, lip locking with you. I know it, you know it, we make it. Closet time! The main part of my closet was quite organized from before of. Check out this video if you want to see how I organized it. The other part of my closet, however, wasn't looking that good. So here's how I fixed it. All right, I have way too many hangers in my closet. I have three different types. So I'm gonna separate them into categories and we're gonna organize it into dresses, tops, and trousers. And hopefully that will make it a bit more organized. to find it online or maybe you have some from before but I absolutely recommend using as many as possible of these multiple hangers basically it comes with three different layers and it's meant for like jeans and stuff you could also use them for everything else I'm using this hanger for all of my summer clothes that 
don't really take up a lot of space because they're really thin um, and can therefore just be stored on one hanger like so. Another hack for those summer clothes that don't really take up any space but will take up hanger space is putting two on each hanger like so. had some clothing I needed to put back so I did that, folded it nicely and yeah, that's it for the closet. Last up, the most satisfying part of every clean, be it your room, kitchen, bathroom, whatever, vacuuming the floors. watching this video i hope you enjoyed so much i also hope you guessed the right video on my instagram question story thingy if you did then big kudos to you i will see you guys very soon bye everyone Mwah.